second. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. If you already changed, but you already changed over, right? You you going no, to? No, I'm changing over after home time. After home time, I'm changing over. Right. So after after today, and when you come back on, you'll be on an all new account, right? Right. Okay. So my question is, why would you still need to talk to your previous dispatcher if you're already on a new account after you come back from home time? When when I first talked to my dispatcher about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. She was like, well, just let me know if you want to go ahead and change after home time. Oh, okay. And you did that. You you already told her, yes, I want to change over. No, I haven't talked back to her about it now. No, I haven't talked back to her after that. That was last week when we talked, had this conversation. Oh, okay, okay. So we're So at this point, you're not sure if you're going to the new account. No, I'm positive now. At this point, I am positive. Oh, you are. Oh, okay. So at this point, you are going but to. Right the now, account. I'm positive. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. But you just want to just talk to the to 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 the manager above her, so that you won't have to just work. So you won't have to talk to her, right? Right. Okay. 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 We good. We we good. Um. Again, I mean, if. Uh, uh, if you if you it sounds look man it's it sounds as though you 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 got everything uh you you got everything together you know you put everything in motion well, i need to do a pm before I started on this I don't know. I, hey, I, I don't think my opinion matters right now because you I, I, no, I, I, commend, I, I, I commend you well, even then, e- even then, because I-, I-, I commend you in what you've done, because, I mean, technically, I I probably would have did the same thing. I, I would have, you know, if I couldn't get a hold of nobody uh, and I made sure that I made, uh, you know, I had receipts for that. You know, I couldn't get in hold of nobody via email, via text, via calls or anything like that. No, My- no, no, no. What? I didn't con- I didn't try to contact nobody because I never try to contact anybody. I send everything through the the Qualcom and they get everything that I'm doing through the Qualcom. So when I got there, they knew it. When I dropped the trailer, they knew it. When I hook up to another trailer, so I got put the new trailer number in, so they already mm-hmm. know all this. All right, and nobody that, still contacted me. That's what I'm saying. Nobody didn't. Uh, nobody. You. What I'm saying is, you did everything right. You you put it in the Qualcom. Uh-huh. And all like that. And I'm just saying, if you was to call them, because, you know, that's what I probably would have did. Um, I would have, and I'm just saying what I would have did. I would have called them if I ain't getting no answer. Okay, I'll just jot that down. I email if I ain't getting no response back. At least the email is still there because it's email. And, you know, through the Qualcomm. You know, you you did all the information via the Qualcomm and they didn't call you to let you know what was next or what to do next or anything like that. So you just took it upon yourself, which I would have did to go home. Right. I, I would have did that. You know, but you know what? Man, you know what? This, you know what? This is what I this is what I would have did, too. This is what I would have did too. I would have put it in a Qualcomm or, you know, put it in a Qualcomm message saying, Hey, uh, was unable to get a hold of somebody. I'm on I'm I'm heading home. Then that's and I, I would have put that I would have put that in a Qualcomm message too. So I would have said, Hey, uh, uh I got a trailer, you know, uh trailer number such and such and such and such. Uh, I tried to get her in the contact. I needed to be home by Wednesday. Uh, I'm heading home. So I would have, I would have put that in the Qualcomm message too. So that's what I would have did. But, uh, all in all, uh, all in all, you, I, all in all, you know, my opinion, um, my opinion, I think you did good. I, I think you, uh, I think you did good. You know, I, I don't think the only the only blowback that I could see coming is the fact that somebody, you know, your dispatcher or somebody will call you up and say, hey, we didn't give you authorization for the miles driven uh, to go home or something like that. And if 
if and when you get that phone call, then you could show all the receipts that you that you done. You know, hey, I put in, you know, I dropped the trailer at Home Depot. I went to go and get another trailer. I put another I, I put the trailer into the Qualcomm so y'all know that I got it empty. Um and you guys knew that this was my home time, uh day coming up or whatever. And, you know, so we just from what I can see is that you guys just don't have good communication. That's that's overall from the whole, you know, from the whole conversation that that I got out of it, that I take away from this. I don't think uh, I don't think you guys have a good commu- have good communications with each other. And if you guys the communicate, wait, wait, wait. The communication was good until now. So it's time for me to go home. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Y'all y'all didn't have good communications with each other. I mean, that's basically what I'm saying to the point that and to the point that you get and to the point that you was going home. So there's a there's a lack of communication right there. So I think well, the communication needs to be done if you know when I'm supposed to be home. Right, but that's what I'm. But that's what I'm saying. That that's where the lack of communication is at. You know. The, you know. The, well, why would it be a lack of a communication now? Well, I. That's I. Now that I can't answer. I. I. I wish I can have it. I wish I can have an answer for you for that. But I. I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I have an answer for that. I. I don't know why she didn't. Uh, get in contact with you when you when when you try to get in contact with her to find out what's the what's the next move and the next move is for you to go home. <laughs> so uh, maybe she. Then, uh, I don't know. But then she gonna give me seven hundred miles when I wanted the miles. You should give it to me. Then she gonna give it to me when I'm going home. That made no sense. Nah, you you're, you're right. You. you you're right. I mean, that's the way on top of it. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're right. That's that's what some companies do and some dispatchers do, man. I mean, I mean, I, you know, I I I could say this past weekend, or yeah, this past weekend that pretty much happened to me. But that you know, but it was still communications between me and my dispatcher. So I, you know, I knew what was I knew what was up. But I can understand. I can understand if there wasn't no communications uh, or lack thereof, then yeah, I I will definitely question that. You know, so as far as doing it on your home time, uh, again, that's something that I that that I probably can't answer because I don't know what was the mindset of your dispatcher at the time. But, mm-hmm. but you did ask me what what I do, and what you did, what what you done is what I would have did, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, that's definitely. I I, I would have did the exact same thing you done. I would have, I would have dropped the dropped the load, you know, you know, dropped the load, went over, find, try to find me another, try to find me another trailer because that probably might be an issue of Bob telling. About four. Oh, I wasn't Bob right. I was gonna break the trailer. Right, you know the, you know about Bob telling about four hundred or what I say about three hundred miles, four hundred, uh, four hundred miles or something like that of Bob telling. I'm sure that the company definitely didn't want you to do that while, <laughs> you know, without a trailer. At least they want you to at right. least have a trailer if you're gonna if you're gonna drive that many miles so but yeah i i would have did you know for for you know the what would i do question i i would have did the exact same thing you done i again i would have i would have dropped it found the trailer and 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 went home <laughs> and that's well, what i would have did if that was on my mind if i say about when i get to doing this mm-hmm. and drop this train and i don't hear nothing about a free plan or nothing that's what i was gonna go ahead and Drive on. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, oh, excuse me again. Uh, like I said, you, you, you did what I would have done. So, I, you know, it, you it's just, else. it's just that the next time, it's just that the next time, 
like I said, even with your new dispatcher, you guys got to make sure that the that the communication is there. And if and if the communication isn't there, just make sure that you yourself have receipts, you know, CYA, man, right. C CYA all the time, CYA all the time and whatever you and whatever you do with these with these companies it's always CYA all the time. If you make sure that you have, uh, you know, make sure that you have if they text you, make sure you keep the text messages. If they email you, make sure you keep the emails. If they if they text you through the Qualcomm, uh, make sure you take pictures. You know what I'm saying? So always, yeah. always, always, always have some receipts because you know a dispatcher. No, no, you know I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the dispatchers there, but. You know, some dispatchers could turn around and say, oh, hey, I didn't say that or, hey, we didn't talk or, hey, this, that, and the third. And you could turn around and be like, yo, I got receipts on this. Right. So. So, yeah, man. But it's another issue, too. Go ahead. Well, I don't know about other drivers, but it's a lot of shit in. Like. Yeah. If I do my 10-hour break, mm -hmm. she'll scared to be a load that. Um, pick up at 11 o'clock that night. It might be 10 o'clock in the morning, so I have to sit and wait till 11 o'clock at night to pick up a load. Yeah, that's 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 irritating. Uh, my my previous company was notorious for that. Um, I I would get to I would get to my drop in the morning, say like seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning. And then it would take them all the way up to like maybe three thirty, four o'clock in the evening for my nets load. And I I used that used to that used to aggravate me to the extreme. Like, bro, like once I dropped the load off in the morning, man, you should already like Okay, let's say this is a Monday. You gave me a load for Monday to drop Tuesday. On Monday, you should already have my next load after I drop on Tuesday. It used to right. it used to irk me so much that he would I would have to wait for him to after I drop my load, I would have to wait for him to come in at eight o'clock because they is clear across America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they, they not even they, they not even here in America. They, they, they in a they in the Philippines or wherever the fuck they at. And I had to wait till they come in at eight o'clock. You know, then after eight o'clock, I gotta wait till they set up the fire up the computers or whatever. And then I had to wait until they, you know, go on the low board and then look on the low board all day so they can find a quote unquote good load. And then then they got to I guess they'll sit. I, I used to get sent the load and then rejected the load, sent the load and then rejected the load. And I'm like, bro, come on. What's up? And then I say maybe around three thirty, four o'clock or something like that. Then I get a load that's about another three, four hundred miler, you know, that le that that leads from Illinois to maybe Missouri. That's about three, four hundred miles right there, which is semi good, but still I got mild I still got hours left and I had to drop that in the morning. So yeah, right. it's it's irritating, you know, the sitting, but you you talking about they don't hit you up until like what, eleven at night? The fuck? Your day's already over. That's what you scheduled the appointment for. You scheduled the appointment and me to pick up at that time. Wow. So that make me tired sitting out those hours. That made me tired. Right, right. So they're gonna inspect. They, 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 they give you a load at that time at night, and then they're gonna inspect you to drive overnight to get that load to where wherever it needs to be the next day or whatever. Yeah, that's. I don't mind driving at night because I prefer to drive at night, but I just don't like sitting. If I did my 10 hours, I don't want to keep sitting longer than 10 hours. When I'm ready to go, I'm just ready to go then. 
Well, that, again, that's where the communications come into play. <laughs> you know, that's get on the phone. That's when you that's when you get on the phone. That's when you get on the phone with your dispatcher and be like, hey, yo, can 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 we get some better load times? You know, I, I, I don't want to be sitting all day. That's 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 messing up my sleep pattern. You know, you you got me. You got yeah. me waiting. You got me waiting all day. You got me waiting all day. And then all of a sudden, 1130, 12 o'clock midnight or 10 o'clock at night. That's when you want me to pick up something to go. And I, you, you might if that if that happens too often. That might be a safety issue. You you might could take that up. with right. safety. You, you might be able to take that up with safety. I mean, I, 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 I did. I had to, I had to take my issues up, with, and she hated that. Ooh, she was so pissed off at that when I took, uh, <laughs> when I, when I took that up with safety. But, um, but yeah, you might have to, you might have to take that up with safety, man. Well, that's not gonna be an issue anymore now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But it, in any case, if if you run, mm -hmm. if you run into that problem again. Then yeah, that's a safety right. issue. You could still, you could take that up with safety, man. Right. So, but uh, you 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 getting a new account? Uh, so what's this uh, what's this account that's gonna that's gonna be? You you been paid by the day, and it's eighteen days out and a week home. Oh, you get paid by the day. So what what's what's the what's the pay scale on on this account? I have to tell you that later because I can't remember if it's four something or three something. Oh, okay, okay. So you so would you get paid every week on this or every two weeks? Every no, every week. Oh, you get paid every week. So you get paid. You you would get you would get a daily amount, say like three yeah. three hundred a day. And then that would just add up it's to over 300, I but know yeah, that. yeah. I'm I'm just using that as a ballpark. So after, okay. so it, it say like it's three hundred a day, and then you get paid every week. So okay, okay, all right. That's and you get paid regardless if you do anything or not. Oh, if you work or not, you still get paid. Okay, okay, okay. So this is is this sounding like this sounds like guarantee pay. Say again, your phone broke out. Oh, sorry about that. I said this sounds like guarantee pay. It is. It's called a sure pay. Oh, okay, okay. For what account, though? I can't remember what they call it. Some kind of pay, but I can't remember the first word to it. Oh, okay. But what? What? What account? I don't know if it's daily pay or something. But what? what oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's enough. You talking like Walmart or something like that? Yeah, what what account? Yeah, is this like a Walmart account, I, Home Depot account, Lowe's no, account? I don't think it's one of those accounts. I know it's called the Northeast. Uh, North? Oh, my God. Oh my God! Oh my God. Okay. See, right now, right now, we, right now, you, you, you talking, you, you talking Northeast, man. No, you can have that. You can put that. I, I said it once. I said it again. I'm gonna keep saying it. Put that shit in your pocket because brother man is not gonna do it. I'm telling you. I'm not fucking with the Northeast. I'm not messing with the Northeast. I'm not trying to go up into the Northeast. You know, my, 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 what don't you like about I it? don't, man, look, don't like nothing. Don't like, don't, it ain't, ain't no parking up there. Dry, the traffic is stupid. <laughs> stupid stuff. I mean, it, look, I mean, let's be honest. If you're going to go up in the Northeast, go up in the Northeast at night. Come in at night. Oh, leave, come in at night. Leave at night. Because if you're trying to, well, if you're trying to go up in the Northeast during the day, yeah, that part. <laughs> that part. I'm gonna try it out and see see how I like it. Oh yeah, I mean, no, it sounds like, like I said, it sounds like a, it sounds like a, it sounds good. I mean, I, and come to think of it, since she said the Northeast, I'm gonna assume that's why you're getting paid the big bucks to go up there. 
Right. Right. <laughs> I'm going to it's assume. About you get paid less. Yeah, I, I'm going to assume that's why you're getting paid the three to four hundred dollars a day to go up there. Right. <laughs> so, right. but yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, so bar none. Uh, overall, since she just got there, uh, and, and this has only been like a month, month, a month or two. You know, we we already got the almost a month. Yeah, we we already got the uh, we already got the issue of the lack of communication out the way, so that it won't be no more. Yeah. It won't be no more of that. But overall, uh, with you know, with this new account and everything, overall, you know, what 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 do you what do you think? What do you think? so far it can be better if I was getting better miles like over the road miles and not local miles oh, okay okay that's what's up that's what's up uh so bar none would you would 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 you suggest bar none for for new drivers yeah I would okay Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. At least, at least with that. But bar none is is in the initial is kicking out about sixty, sixty nine cent a mile. Sixty two. Well, I made sixty two. Oh, okay, sixty two cent a mile. Man, that's 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 not bad. How I many? How much? How much? I have hands made. How? M- Okay. O- okay. 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 Well, something if you don't have hands. Okay. Okay. So how much how how much experience do you need to come up in the bar none though? A year. Okay. So you, bar none is not considered a a new a new company uh, a new driver company that, uh, if a driver comes straight out of school. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh, now, no. now you said. Uh, now you say you 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 with bar none. You you heard a lot of good things about this company. Um, where did you do your research to you know to find out about bar none? I heard it on your video oh, okay. and some other drivers okay. watching YouTube. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> All right, so uh, so the make the call video was was part of your uh, was part of your research. Thank you very much. I th- know I thought I bring oh, value. Welcome. I know I thought I bring value to you guys. Uh, you do. So, thank you. Um, You're welcome. So, bar none, after you did your research, you you figured out that hey this is this this might be a good company for me but what other companies other than bar none did you did you research before you actually check mark bar none Millie's transfer okay that's another company i call um, um i used to work at Snyder. i thought about going back to Snyder, but they still not going up on their pay. So okay. I didn't go back there. Well, you know, um, a lot of these, a lot of these companies, uh, you know, they, some of these companies are 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 going up on drivers' pay to try to to try to keep retention down. That's number one, and trying to entice new drivers to come in. That's that's number two. I I I kind of feel that they should have been you know they they should have been up the driver pay you know what i'm saying and i i don't think they would have right. I, I don't think they would have you know came into these issues like for a brand new driver coming out of school yes i understand you you're not gonna you're not gonna pay a brand new driver out of school